guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another house build. Um, this time I decided to do it as more of a let's build series. Um, so I'm still doing the commentary after the fact because I, if I was trying to talk and build at the same time, it would just not be a good idea. However, <laughs> um, I did decide to not speed it up and I am um, going to be doing multiple parts. So this part, as you can tell by the title, focuses solely on landscaping. And I mean, there's a little bit of other stuff. Like I built a dock, um, but mostly like I haven't started the house at all. Um, but this is a cottage style house. Um, which the inspiration for this came from me wanting to build my dream house. I had a video called Building My Dream House in The Sims 4. It wasn't really my dream house. It was more of a house that I would have liked to live in in that moment. <laughs> um... But this is, like, for real my dream house. Like, every time I pass by a house that looks like this, which surprisingly uh, for where I live is quite a lot, uh, I always say to my mom, I'm like, Mom, that's my house. So um, I decided to do a couple of things that I, I mean, I don't watch Sims house builds on the regular. Um, really, the only house builds I've watched recently is uh, Little Simsy built a farmhouse recently that I watched. Um, and really, I mean, that's it. I used to watch a lot more of them when I was younger. I used to like love watching like the the Sims Two Mansion builds and everything. But yeah, I haven't. So I don't know what people are doing, and most people now are building in the Sims Four anyway. Um, but I decided to do some things that I hadn't really seen for a while at least in the house builds in that I messed with the terrain and I built a river and a pond. Um, that's actually one of the things that I would love to have in the future uh, is a river or a, and a pond, particularly in this build, there's a river and a pond, but I would settle for either. Um, but yeah, I just thought, you know, I don't hardly ever see people use the like river and pond tools on their own lots uh in the sims and i mean i know that this looks like this river is really really short but i always imagined it as like going off of the lot so if you just if you just, if you squint and you just, you just picture that the river actually goes outside of the lot then you're you're golden and then here's the little pond area um yeah i i think this build at least for what I've done so far. I've only done the landscape. Because uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to upload today. But then, like I said, I got really, really inspired to do this. This little piece of freaking river took me so long to figure out. Anyway, I um, I got really inspired to build this today. I don't know why. I, I've i been, you know, not really excited to play The Sims recently other than my, my builds. Like, I haven't been playing a current household builds. No, my Let's Plays. I haven't been doing any current households or anything recently because, you know, school's about to start soon and I've been just kind of, you know, waiting for that. I'm so bored all the time. But anyway, I, yeah, I was really, really happy with the way this turned out. Um... And so here you're going to see I was trying to find out a, a good sand color um, because what I ended up doing is I surround this whole river in sand and then I do this dusty dirt color, that one, around the sand. Which in builds like this where I'm focused on not necessarily what I think looks good, but what I would, I mean obviously it looks good to me, but what I would want. Uh, if you see me taking long pauses, I was probably taking a drink of water. Um but more of like what I personally like, I find that the, these little details like doing the two different colors of sand around the river or, you know, you're going to see if you've watched any of my speed builds before, you know that my um, my agriculture decorating skills are just kind of like turn on, move objects on and just place you're going to see that a lot here too. Because personally, and, and if you ever saw my house in real life, if you saw my, my real life house build, my plants are like that. We just sort of put them everywhere and just, you know, let them do what they want to do. Because I think plants 
when they look natural and just full and just all over the place, it reminds me of wild plants. And that sort of wild plant look is something that I really think is beautiful. So yeah, here I'm just putting sand around this pond. And it looks rough right now, but I promise it, it'll look better in a little bit. Um, yeah, uh, right now, so what I've done so far in this build, like what you'll see in this part, is, you know, this little river and pond area, I get this all filled up with flowers. I build the dock, um, and I build a little fountain, and I get the paths set up. In the next part, we're probably going to start building. So the next part will probably be building, and then after that will be furnishing, and then I might do a part for final details, or I might just, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Um... But I think, you know, these, like I said, these little details are so important. Um, what kind of houses do you guys like? When I was younger, I wanted a really, really big house, which is probably why I was so obsessed with those Sims 2 mansion builds. I wanted a mansion. And who doesn't want a mansion when they're little? Who doesn't, like, look at a mansion and you're like, that's my house, bro. But now that I'm older, I just think, hmm... The only way I would want a mansion is if I could afford to pay somebody else to clean it. Because you know I'm not cleaning that myself. And I, some of these, some of this is, I don't know if this is my mouse or if this is just how the terrain tool works. But it was giving me very cut shapes. And I was like, this is a circle. This is not supposed to be super straight line cut shapes. So I ended up having to turn up the softness a little bit. And I'll do that again whenever I do the next paint around it but yeah I mean I was very happy with this and I know I said that a lot but honestly this even though I haven't finished it yet or I haven't even started building the freaking house yet it's already starting to become one of my favorite builds that I've ever done um and I don't know why I I honestly don't I think that it just you know building something that you would want in real life if I could have if I could Imagine, you know, if I could close my eyes and imagine waking up in a house on a lot of a plot of land and have it, what would I have it look like? That's what I'm trying to do with this build is what would I want that to look like when I woke up in the morning and I opened my, my curtains and I looked outside? And I think that that changes a lot when you're building because normally when I build I'm building suburban houses or I'm building for you know my 100 baby house or whatever and I'm like what would be the most functional what would be probably the most realistic what would be something that you know would be very what I need for this family for example Isabella's house we're probably gonna have to build her a new house soon because she's freaking spoiled and she's gonna have another baby that's my generation's let's play if you haven't seen that yet but we're gonna have to build her another house and so it's probably gonna be like what's gonna be more functional probably more than two bedrooms considering she's gonna have two kids and a husband soon but not forever yikes um but yeah, so building something along the lines of what would I want versus what works or like what works the best and what is considered to be more functional, I think, I mean, obviously I want the house to be functional because like it's my dream house, but I think the aesthetics too are a big part that I normally don't do. I normally never focus on terrain or if I do, I just kind of, you know, build a little path up to the front door and that's it. I hardly ever do anything like this and I think that's why it's so special. Um, but yeah, moving on past that, uh, hang on, I need to take a drink. Sorry, I just took a drink of water. Um, <laughs> I'm back now, and here we are, my favorite part of the video. It's plant time. Um, so yeah, like I said, if you've never seen any of my house builds before, um, my version of landscaping is move objects on, click, click. Meaning that it might look chaotic, and it is chaotic, but I think it is chaotic good. Chaotic beautiful. I think that, you know, just having just this random 
group of plants is just so it's just so unique and it's so pretty and I, I love it a lot anyway so we're going to get into that right now um we're going to start of course with my favorite part the flowers um if you don't know anything about me i um am a biology major considering also being a chemistry major i i don't know i i go back and forth i don't have to decide till the end of this year though so, or like the end of this school year so like next spring um but I am definitely a biology major, and I am a plant person. I am planning on majoring in organismal biology, meaning that I want to study organisms instead of, like, cells. Um, which, if you don't know anything about biology, some people prefer to study cells. I prefer to study organisms, specifically plants. I am such a plant person. I work at a greenhouse. I love plants. I have a garden and that is why I think I just love this like chaotic, messy look. As a person who is a biology major and is very, you know, an advocate for, I try to be as an advocate for the environment, obviously, as much as I can, considering I don't buy my own groceries or have my own very steady source of income. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I try to do whatever I can and planting, you know, gardening outside is something that both, you know, my mother and I enjoy. We can do it together and she lets me buy plants and I got a discount for working at the greenhouse. So, uh, it's a win-win. Uh, I love planting. I love, you know, having little bee plants outside for the little bees to enjoy. Um, and I think that, you know, that's really special, but that's why I think I like this chaotic look. Cause to me, what is more natural and woodland like than just this plant chaos that is exactly what i imagine when i think about wild flowers and wild bushes and everything i don't know of course we go in with the bushes here we go in with the rocks you can never not have rocks especially on something like this which is a riverbed uh there's going to be a ton of rocks and I think I did a good job with these. I'm actually very happy with it. And I end up <laughs> making more than this. I end up keep, I end up expanding it even more. Um, like I said, in some of them, you can't even see that much. But to me, that's the beauty of it. The, the chaos and it's the little details. Like you can see the rocks through some of the plants. And I think that just adds so much of an interesting look to the plant beds. Oh, you have to have, add some big rocks in, of course. This is really random and has nothing to do with the house build, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. When I was a kid, we had this place in our neighborhood. So when I was growing up, I live in the suburbs, by the way, in the Midwest. Um, and when I moved into my neighborhood, my, my suburb, um, there was like not a lot of houses. Um, my house was the only one on my street. And the only people I could play with, there was a girl, a street behind me. There was a boy across the street from me. And then there was a girl a couple streets away. And we were the only ones even similar in age. Um, of course, we weren't all the same age, but we were close. Like a couple, within a couple years of each other or within a year. I'm not really sure. But yeah, so we had this place. Well, hang on. More backstory. <laughs> Some of the houses in my neighborhood are on hills because obviously when you're in the Midwest, things are flat, but they're not super flat. This is not a super flat Minecraft world, okay? This is, there is natural ups and downs despite the fact that most of it is flat. We do have some hills though, but not a lot. But anyway, so there are ups and downs and on some houses, part of the house is farther up on the hill and part of it's lower. And so in order to sort of combat that, they get these really big rocks and they put them under the house. Like, I don't know, it's, I don't get it. But they used to put these rocks, they used to order like a thousand of them and they just put them in a pile and they would just take them whenever they needed them. And so us kids, you know, being dumb kids, Instead of like, oh my god, hang on, sorry, this sunflower, I was trying to get it to face forward and I couldn't, it took me so long to figure out that I could just use a little arrow keys on my keyboard. Anyway, um, so us kids, when we would hang out, we would go to the rocks and we would play around on them. And was it safe? No, 
No, it wasn't, but it was fun and it could have been worse. It was only like a street away from my house. We could have done a lot worse than that. Um, but I thought, you know, I thought it was really, I thought it was cool. Um, we also had a place called The Tree, which was this really big tree that was um, over a, a small creek near my house. And somebody had nailed um, planks of wood into it as seats and we would sit in it. And somebody had tied a rope around it so you could swing across the um, across the creek to get to the other side. That probably wasn't safe either, but we it was fun. We did it anyway. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I thought I enjoyed I enjoy that part of my childhood. That I have fond memories of that. Anyway, so <laughs> moving back to the house build. Look at that beautiful little corner of flowers. Oh my god, aesthetic. I am such a grandma. I am not gonna have kids, but if I did, uh, and those kids had kids, I think that I would be that classic grandma that like bakes all the time. You know what I'm talking about? Like the grandma that's like, come to my cottage and I will have cookies and pies and cobblers just ready for you to eat. That would be me as a grandma. I'm not planning on having kids though, but you know, things change maybe someday in the future, but I, 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 I doubt it. Doubt it a lot. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of kids, uh, this YouTube channel is my child, and my child is about to be one year old in a couple months, in October. In, like, mid-October, this YouTube channel is going to be a year old, which is insane. Um, I don't really consider me as having started my YouTube channel until my Generations Let's Play, because I had uploaded a few videos, but I wasn't serious about it until, you know, I started my Generations Let's Play. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about doing something for the one year mark. I was thinking about maybe doing a Q and A. Um, if any of you would be interested in that, let me know. Um, because I'm thinking about setting it up and maybe starting in mid September, making sure to remind you to leave question suggestions in the comments if you want to do it in this video you can it's just going to be a long time till i do the q a um but anyway let me know what you think about that L just look how pretty this looks tell me you wouldn't love to look out your window every day and just see this river you know what i mean oh here i go i'm about to build the dock um so originally i was going to make it big and then i decided that was too big so i made it small because you know, I didn't want to take away from the beauty that is the pond. So I made this little dock. And I wanted to put stairs. So I put some stairs on. I don't have anything like this near me. But I do have, what I do have is, I do have a, a pond in my neighborhood. Um, and I do have a dock in my neighborhood. If you've seen my uh, summer lookbook that I did. Uh, I think it was in June, early June, maybe, or late May. I'm not sure. Um, if you've seen that, then you will see a pond at, in a dock house in part of that video. And that that is part of my neighborhood. And I, I love going out there. Um, it's next to the pool. We have a pool. Also, it's a community pool. That's fun. Oh, my God. I need to add a pool to this house. Remind me, someone remind me that next time I build a part of this house to build a pool with it. So here's where I started messing with the terrain. I decided, you know, not everything here would be flat, um, especially not, you know, over by the pond. Because I know that by my pond, things aren't flat. And in a river, they you tend to be maybe a little flatter, or maybe I'm wrong about that. But like right around my pond... Things are not super flat, at least not all over. So I added a bit of uh, terrain difference here. Um, and I think it looks pretty cool. It's just, it's subtle. And I, I think it's it's kind of cool. Although, you know, the Sims, they're going to have a struggle with it because Sims, they can't seem to walk. And, you know, maybe I'll use this house. I'm considering doing an all-in-one Let's Play. Maybe I will have, you know, this house be 
part of that. I don't know. Um, this is in Appaloosa Plains, um, but I could always pick it up and move it to a different neighborhood. Oh my god, what if my all-in-one Let's Play had a cute grandma? That's so cute, because we're almost done with A to Z. I'm literally, I think, either by the end of this month or, like, the first week of September, A to Z is going to be done, which is wild. I've been doing that Let's Play for a long time, since, like, March, I think. Wow. That's honestly crazy. That's crazy. But... Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited for that. Um, so here I wanted a place where I could go out on the dock and relax and read a book or d watch some YouTube or something where I would, you know, be able to just sit outside. To be honest, I uh, don't know why I put two chairs. Um, I'm not expecting someone else. I guess maybe if I have a guest... Or, like, my mom would probably come out and sit with me. Am I going to live with my mom forever? Yes. <laughs> Most likely. Um, but, yeah, I wanted something, you know, where I could come out and sit and relax and have, you know, some lemonade and, and watch some videos. And wouldn't this just be... I mean, this would be so beautiful in every season. In the summer, in the spring, you would have all the beautiful flowers. In the fall, of course you know, all of the, the beautiful leaves would fall off the trees and it would just be so beautiful. And then in the winter, you would have all the beautiful snow and it wouldn't be disturbed back here and you would have the ice and oh my God, it would be perfect. So I put these little pots out here as well. Um, that would be like my bee plants. I mean, obviously all of it is my bee plants, but that would be like my thyme and my thyme. Yeah, I guess thyme. I could put chives, lavender, um what else do i have in my bee pots bee dance that's a type of flower that i have in my bee pots i was trying to figure out how to put this little awning and i eventually figured it out uh but it was going up a floor and not touching the ground and i was like well that doesn't look quite realistic now does it so i started and i just slowly backed it up from <laughs> from the lower end and whenever it decided to disappear i moved it back a little bit and it was fine and then I changed the colors because I didn't like this color of brown clashing with the color of brown on the steps. But yeah, um, I am incredibly happy with the way that this house build turned out. Well, not the house build, but just the outside. Uh, I haven't done the house yet. Um, but if you have any ideas for that, let me know. I think the next part of this, I mean, I want to try and obviously finish this build before I go back to school, which is Monday. So the next part of this will probably be out Thursday. So today's Tuesday. Tomorrow is Legacy Challenge. Then Thursday will be this again. Friday will be A to Z. Saturday will be Generations. And the third and final part will likely be out on Sunday. And then, of course, Monday we will have Legacy... No, Monday... Oh, I guess I could put this out the final part on monday that's what i'll do no video sunday but a video monday or at least not this video sunday i'm probably gonna do something else sunday um if i can find the time maybe i'll do a back to school outfit ideas video oh that would be fun I don't know what kind of genre my channel is. To be honest, my channel genre is whatever I want to upload. I love, you know, I've been getting really into fashion recently, which is new for me. I've been getting really into, um, obviously, I love playing The Sims. I've also been getting really into DIYs and journaling and, you know, all sorts of those things. So maybe you'll see videos on those in the future. But of course, you have to love I have to love Sims. I've been playing Sims for over half my life. So, it's important. Okay, so here I'm moving on to the path. Oh my god, look how pretty that looks in the back. Sorry. Oh my god. Looking back on it, like I finished this build like 10 minutes before I started recording this. I'm already like so just amazed by this. Look how pretty that is. Oh, and this looks rough until I fix it, but that's okay.
So, yeah, that top path goes to a house, and the side path is going to go to a garden, like one of the ones where the Sims can actually harvest the plants. Um, and then here in the middle, I wanted to do um, a little uh, fountain. So I made a little fountain, and I put the little geyser, and I put the little, the little other types of fountains in there, and then I just surrounded it by flowers. Um, because, you know, can never have too many flowers unless you're allergic. If you're allergic, do not live in this house. If you're allergic to flowers, do not try to come and live in my house. Because I feel like that's not going to end up well for you, considering the fact that there's a lot of flowers here. Um, while I was watching this, I was listening to scary stories. Uh, and, you know, you can't hear it because I took the audio out of this, but... As I'm recording the voiceover, I have my headphones on and I can hear my scary story in the background that I was listening to. I love scary stories. Do you guys like scary stories or no? Do you? What's your favorite genre of movie? My favorite genre of movie is horror, particularly psychological horror or thrillers. Um, I'm not super into gore like Saw and stuff. I can handle it, but it's definitely not my favorite and I think that horror movies now are just kind of bad, to be honest. I think that there hasn't been a super really good horror movie out for a long time. However, I am on Thursday going to go and see uh, the Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, the new, I think it's Guillermo del Toro. He's good. Another good horror movie director is, um, oh my god, what is his name? M. Night Shyamalan. That guy. Shyamalan. I always call him M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong because I don't know how to say his name and I don't think anybody knows how to say his name. He's the one that directed The Sixth Sense. He directed The Visit and he directed, unfortunately, that really bad Avatar movie. Oh my gosh, speaking of the really bad Avatar movie, did you guys see that Netflix is creating a live action Avatar with the creators of the original cartoon being the ones that are technically directing it and i don't know how i feel about it i think i'm okay with it because the original directors are directing it um but i think that i don't know doing it live action is going to be very difficult look how pretty this like okay so my only problem in real life i mean i guess this isn't a problem but in real life oh i liked these flowers so i went to put them everywhere uh in real life my only problem with this sort of gardening where you just do just random stuff would be that it would be really hard to take care of. I guess my argument would be I would just let them grow however they grew, and if it rained, they would get watered, and if I was out watering, I would give them some water, but for the most part, I would just let them do whatever they wanted to do because I think that that, you know, they love rainwater more than they love any other type of water. You could enrich the heck out of your water you could put fertilizers in there you could get like the best type of water that you could find and the plants would still like rainwater better just because that's what they are they have evolved to to enjoy and part of it i think is obviously that sometimes at least where i live rain brings thunderstorms and thunderstorms of course have lightning and lightning is really good for plants this is boring none of you care about this i care about this i love plants Um, but yeah, plants like rainwater. However, there's also these fountains here. So I think that these plants would get a significant amount of water. I don't think it would be a problem. In my neighborhood there, we have a fountain and (laughs) it's always off for some reason. It's not off this year, but like every other year they like turn it off. And I don't know why. Nobody likes it when it's off. All right, here we go. And I got to add some rocks in because, you know. Even though you can't see them, it's the details. It's the details. So I make it look like the fountain comes out of the rocks. So yeah, that is basically the entryway, my little fountain. Um, So now I'm going to add a fence. And this is also when you'll see me add the third path that goes to the dock through a gate. I was trying to do, uh, when I built the fence, I I have a picture 
that I found on Google of just like the basic outside of what a, what a cottage style house would look like. Uh, just because I wanted some sort of idea in my mind, like of where I wanted to take like the exterior paints or whatever. And there was this really cute feature where the gate was open and I wanted to do that. And then it was like, you can't put a gate on a diagonal fence. And I was like, why not? Why can't I put a gate on a diagonal fence? You're trying to tell me. So I ended up just leaving it open and I only did a gate on the side. I was trying to figure out if that's where I wanted the gate to go and I decided, yeah, that's where I wanted it to go. Um, But yeah, I was trying to make it look all cute and inviting, like, come on in, come into my, my garden, my garden house. And it disappointed me and it said no. I was trying to figure out why the gate wouldn't work. I guess I could have put it on there with move objects on. And maybe, you know, when I do the final details, I will. But who knows? At this point, I was trying to. And it was like, nope, just kidding. You can't. And so I got sad. But I think it's because technically the diagonal fence, for some reason, is a little bit longer than the other fences and the gate wouldn't look right um i'm trying to think about that that doesn't really make sense does it if these are technically even squares and i've noticed this too while building if these are supposed to be even squares that you're building on how come the diagonal is longer because if you think of like a one by one square then the diagonals should also be one right? Or am I wrong? I don't know. I am not. I was in calculus. I haven't been in geometry for a really long time. Oh, I haven't been in geometry since my sophomore year of high school. Wow, I've been in calculus since then. Ew, why? That's disgusting. I had to put more trees in because, you know, I would have tons of trees all over my house if I lived in a house that I had designed. Um, oh, and here's where I'm adding the extra path, and I'm actually getting to the end of this part, so I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching, make sure to tune in for the rest of this Let's Build, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video, whenever that is or whatever it is, bye guys.